Welcome to another episode of Monday Ritzeni with Pretoria Psychologists. My name is Meridian Mawelele and today I'll be speaking to you about personal development. So personal development is a lifelong journey of continuous activities that are helpful in developing and growing you as an individual in your personal capacity and also in your professional capacity. One of the beautiful things about personal development as mentioned that it is a lifelong process therefore there is no timeline to it as to say this is when it starts and this is when it ends and there's also a variety and a lot of different things that you can do to develop yourself as an individual. I'll be speaking to you today specifically about soft skills. Soft skills are defined as those non-tangible skills that an individual can make use of in the personal space or in their professional space. A lot of companies are no longer only just looking for individuals who are qualified or they are trained in a specific hard skill but they're also looking for qualities that an individual can acquire on their own such as leadership skills, communication skills. So these soft skills are essential part in your personal development and they can also be beneficial. For instance, if you have communication skills, you are able to adapt yourself in various settings and be able to speak to different crowds at different spaces. And this adds therefore to your value as a professional or else as an individual in a larger community or in a family and in any setting. Soft skills can also be defined as personality traits and characteristics that you can add or enhance within yourself as a person to help you be more efficient in your work, to be more efficient as an individual. That way you can with ease acquire the goals that you have set for yourself and that you are able to interact in a larger space or even in a smaller space. The development of soft skills can have various benefits and some of them include that as an individual you would be improving your own personal strengths. So for instance, if you are an individual who is stronger in the line of communication, enhancing this soft skill can help you to be more efficient as a communicator. Secondly, you will have clearer goals as you are planning and you because you are now more advanced or efficient in a specific skill, therefore your planning and your goals become clearer. And thirdly, it can also help with motivation. Sometimes we want to embark on different career choices or different um, roles in our employment or different uh, opportunities that we come across. But we might feel that we are lacking in certain skills, not necessarily the hard skills. But enhancing these soft skills can therefore feel, make us feel more confident to go for those different opportunities. The fourth one is it can be useful in helping you with balancing work life. This, for example, a soft skill such as time management and planning, being able to know how much uh, of time it takes to manage work life and also having the skill to manage your work life. This can help you be more efficient in finding the balance within the two. This can help you, improving your soft skills can help you to have more career prospects and opportunities as mentioned earlier that employers are not only looking for individuals who are trained uh, to have a specific skill but the soft skill really form part of a really integral part of an employee such as being able to work with other individuals being able to understand the culture and being able to manage one's own personal and work balance so some of the soft skills that one can look at developing in order to enhance and, uh, and advance themselves in their career and personal life include communication skills, time management and planning, stress management, uh, self-care and emotional well-being and often we think that these things take up a lot of time to learn and to acquire but these are skills that we can go out and acquire through various platforms and channels through other people and i'm going to just look at some of the how we can acquire these soft skills for example you could take up a short course online where you could be learning about leadership skills 
it could be for a month two months three months it's really up to you and as to how much in depth um you want to go so there's courses that are offered through udemy there's courses that are offered through linkedin so you could look at various opportunities sometimes these are free and you can just go through them and take a short course to learn these soft skills and improve and enhance your own uh, personal skills and secondly we could also learn from other individuals so you can adopt a mentor maybe there's a person that you've identified who's really good at a specific thing maybe they're really good at their time management or organizational skills they're really good with um, people you could just adopt a mentor for the specific um, skill that you want to learn take notes from them ask questions engage with them this could be through mentorship or through coaching one more thing you can consider um, taking feedback sometimes we look at feedback as a negative thing but constructive feedback is very useful in developing and growing as an individual so perhaps find that individual who you know and feel more comfortable that you can take feedback from them it could be at work it could be on a personal life it could be on a spiritual front that person who is able really to understand where your goals are what are your goals where you're going and what are you actually looking for and you could take feedback from the individual on the specific soft skill that you want to um, work on for instance if it is leadership maybe there's a leader in the church or the leader at work that you are really aspiring and want to learn from them therefore take feedback from them to say I have engaged in this instance and this is what I did can I please get feedback so that I can grow from this therefore you are able to take feedback and you're able to reflect and see how you can um, change or integrate in the future from the feedback and lastly Sometimes our friends and colleagues are best tools that we have around us. We can ask a friend to say, I'm going to practice the soft skill on you. Maybe it's my presentation skills. I'm having a presentation with the general board or with my bosses. Therefore, I'm going to take a friend and practice on them and see how do I do. And I could tell them specific things that I want them to check. Check my hands, check my eyes, my body language. Therefore, you are able to use your friends to help you enhance and they'll be just they'll be able to give you constructive feedback and they'll be really honest but it'll also help you to know what things to look for and sometimes it's really just putting up a tripod or a camera and recording yourself just to see how your body language especially in terms of presentations or speaking in public or speaking to other individuals how you present yourself and how you look as indicated earlier Personal development is not something that you can set a time to, but it's a lifelong process. So be patient with yourself. Work at a specific skill at a certain point in time. Give yourself to say, at this point in time, I'll be working on learning this particular skill and I'll practice it and I'll go back to it. Don't try to put too many skills to learn in a short space of time. The, more, the one skill we focus on and as soon as we master that skill then you can move over to the next skill that you want to develop and be patient with yourself sometimes you get it right and sometimes you will fumble around and there's always room for improvement and growth so it's not a once-off thing and then it's done and dusted there might be new content in the next year there might be new material for us to learn there might be new research for us to look into so take your time and enjoy the process of personal development. I hope you found this segment useful. See you next time.